Hey guys, hope everything's going well. If you like my video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Alright, I'm gonna do a, my video today without glasses, see how this goes. Alrighty, so I wanted to talk today about the sports card bubble and YouTube. This is uh, actually not my idea, uh, but some individual said that, you know, yeah, cars will correct. I'm going to paraphrase. Some cars are going to correct in price value big time in the next few years. But what will also happen is the amount of YouTube channels, content creators, will actually go down because a lot of people will be frustrated and they're just going to be doing less videos. Uh, and I, I want to comment on this. Okay, I do believe that the content will actually go down in the next few years because the economy should open back up, right? And when it does open back up, you know, we're not going to be doing as many videos as we were before. You know, right now I'm working from home, so it's convenient for me to do these videos. I also do these videos as an escape from the real world. There's a lot of tension going on right now in politics, and I just can't deal with political stuff. I can't read the news anymore as much as I used to. That's why I focus on these videos to keep me distracted. And I could also relate to some of you guys that are card collectors. Card collectors. So that's one thing. The second thing is, you know, this is not my first rodeo. I have been involved with another silver and gold channel on YouTube. And I've noticed that when the price of silver and gold collapsed, you know, seven, eight years ago. Yeah, there were videos, but uh, people started making less videos. I made less videos as, you know, I, I was actually harassed uh, by a lot of people when I used to do interviews with other people. So I stopped doing a lot of videos. That, that was one reason. And secondly, I had a full-time job. I was got married. And, you know, it just took so much out of me. You know, I was coming in downtown Chicago on a daily basis. So, you know, that's just so much time that I didn't have. Now I'm, you know, sometimes working in my PJs. So it's a lot different, you know, working from home. Not, not sure how long this will go. Uh, but, you know, I expect the same type of behavior when these card prices will go down, a lot of people will be frustrated, and the amount of content by some of these guys, it'll just disappear, because right now people are having a successful time flipping cards, and I think it'll happen for the next two years, but after then, you know, these arbitrage opportunities are going to go away, and it's going to take two, three years maybe for the market to do what it's doing right now because I do see potential conflict in this, um, not conf excuse me, let me rephrase this. I do see potential opportunities later this decade and that's because the government is going to allow us to do that. Things will get chaotic and people will resort to their hobbies, their childhood. It's nostalgia. And it's much better than, you know, doing drugs. As long as you're not, you know, gambling in this market, it's all fine and well. You know, small bets here and there calculated where, you know, you're not going to lose your shirt. I think that's fine. That should be actually encouraged. If you're, you know, going into massive amount of debt, you know, where you could lose your home investing in these cars, I think that's a huge problem, which some people are doing. So, yeah, I expect, you know, when the Fed raises rates or when the yield curve inverts, that's when, you know, the card market's going to collapse, the stock market's going to collapse, Bitcoin's going to collapse, and a lot of people are going to be freaking out. Some people may blame manipulation of the market. Some people may say the system's rigged, even though, you know, card prices have gone crazy the last few years. There's probably going to be newbies that will be shutting down the channels or they're going to do less content or they're going to be turning on um, or they're going to, you know, say collecting stupid, you know, it's a waste of time and whatnot. And, you know, when I see people like that, when I see that type of emotion, I probably would want to buy. I probably want to buy like some vintage Jordans, you know, that no one's looking at. I'm probably going to look at some 84 Jordans. 
you know, the star cards. You know, I'm starting to do some research on that, low population count. I may look at some Brady's, uh, some low population rookie cards. That's going to be a good opportunity. So the, the way that I look at it is, you know, you type in sports cards, you see so many YouTube channels. I've been listening to some other guys that have had YouTube channels for a few years. And he said that back then, not many people were doing YouTube videos. And now a lot of people are doing YouTube videos. Granted, I'm doing YouTube videos. But that's because I use it as an escape from the real world. I don't need to stress out about uh, politics anymore or the real world in general. And I just see that, okay, so much enthusiasm, very aggressive behavior. I don't want to aggressively be buying. I am buying here and there. It's a little more selective. I'm very picky now. You know, I got my stimulus money the other day and, you know, I bought some more Ledeckis, you know. Katie Ledecky, I bought, you know, a Jordan Love, uh, National Treasures card, auto, RPA, you know, $100. I don't mind using, you know, some of this funny money they're giving me, which I technically don't need. I don't need that to pay my bills or I don't need that to pay my mortgage. I'm just using it, you know, just, just to speculate. You, some people may say gambling, but it's a few hundred bucks it's nothing in terms of cards uh, but yeah like I said I probably would look at the emotion and the sentiment of the YouTube community and from there I probably would see okay a lot of negativity in the card space I'm gonna be buying I'm gonna be buying for the long run and I think they're gonna be fantastic opportunities at that time Sure, card prices will still be up from maybe a few years ago, but still, you know, what I see happening, you know, with the decline of the U.S. dollar in the coming years, potential more lockdowns for various other reasons, whether it's a COVID variant, you know, some people are talking about climate change lockdowns, you know, some people think that's insane, but, you know, that, that's what I'm looking at. What do you think, guys? Do you think that um, we're going to see more YouTube channels uh, shut down or less content created in the next few years. I think at that time, if I'm, you know, working from home, I probably, you know, still do as many videos as possible. But we, we shall see. You know, who knows? Maybe if I'm commuting back to downtown Chicago, I probably will not be doing as much video. So I'm taking advantage of it now while I can do videos on a daily basis. All right, guys, uh, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys.